Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's Joel again. Um, I want to do a video about some uh, loose cars that I picked up at my club. Uh, not this past meeting in January, but these are the cars I picked up uh, in December. Um, which I forgot about. I had also picked up um, two uh, of these uh, cases. So that was also part of my purchase there. So many of these cars are really in good condition because the person I bought them from, another club member, um, Dennis, he's only opened them up to uh, use them uh, for racing. So, and then he decided to sell them. So it's kind of a mixed bag of uh, makes, models, and brands, uh, mostly Hot Wheels with some Matchbox. All right, so uh, that was my fault. We dropped that. All right, so here we have a Matchbox um, Camaro. I can't see. It might be a Camaro Z28. Um, I don't know the year. It's from the 90s. I actually kind of like this one. I like the wheels on it. <clears throat> uh, one of my favorite um, cars, the Chevy Nomad. Um, it's also been known as the Classic Nomad and the Live 55. All right, so it's a 55 Nomad. Um, this one's been around for a while. This has been around since uh, the late 60s, like probably 1969. Um, there's no, uh, yeah, 1969 is the casting on the base. But um, this is not, this one here is not from 1969. This is a... Uh, a modern version of the car so <clears throat> here's another matchbox car uh, this is the 1997 Corvette uh, so. here is a regular treasure hunt um, I did find one of these in the store but again, um, Dennis was selling these cars two for 50, two for a dollar, fifty cents each. Okay, um, and I know I bought close to forty-eight of them. Uh, so this case is uh, pretty much full, except for uh, I think that one space right there. So this is a Hot Wheels Corvette. I can't remember. It wasn't in my Corvette collection. I don't see. I don't remember when it's from. This came out last year. Uh, this is, I think, one of their premium lines. Uh, this was not a regular edition car. And very hard to see. Still have not received my new glasses yet. Uh, Ford pickup. So I don't know what year. Another 63 split window. Um, this was a series car, and I can't remember the name of the series because I know I have this uh, still in the package, buried somewhere in my garage. Okay, but this was uh, part of a series. I think it came out in like 1997 or 98. Um, so what all this tampo is on the hood and the sides is... Uh, blueprint stuff and so that's what it's supposed to represent uh, here's a car you don't see too much of I think this is the Oldsmobile 442 so you don't see too many Oldsmobiles in, uh, in Hot Wheels they're mostly uh, Chevys, Fords um, as a matter of fact, I think there's less Oldsmobiles and Buicks in, in Hot Wheels than there are AMC cars. Um, <coughs> so that was an old, uh, that's probably a 1967 44, 442, old 442. Um, here's the popular 55 Gasser. Uh, I have other versions of this. I do have this in a 9-pack. 
and it's a paint error where the paint is, you know, not applied really well. Uh, so it's kind of like faded, so it's missing some of the colors. So I decided to leave that one in the pack. Here is another Corvette. And I wonder if it's the same as this one. They look maybe a little different. Let's see here. This one is the 1997 Corvette. And this one is... Oh, okay. So, I thought maybe the, uh, the emblem on the nose was a little bit different. But I guess it's just a uh, color variation. So... Actually, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the color, but the blue one looks whiter. But maybe that's just me. From being tired. <clears throat> Here is, again, another 55 Nomad. This one says Chevy Nomad, but it's going by Classic Nomad. Uh, Alive 55. All right. And it's, uh, it's a 55 Nomad. Uh, used to have an opening hood on these, and again, even though it says 69 on the base, it's not from 1969. This one is a modern, uh, uh, came out modern times, probably within the last uh, five or six years. <clears throat> Here is a Corvette, no, I'm sorry, not a Corvette. Uh, this is probably... Ford uh, Mustang funny car. I don't see any engine. I don't see any uh, manufacturer uh, decals on it, but the front end for some reason reminds me of Ford. But this is all plastic except for the base. Okay. So um, this here is all plastic. Just the base is metal. And the body's plastic. So I don't know what that came from. Maybe this is uh, might be a toy from uh, McDonald's. I'm not sure. If somebody knows, please let me know in the comments. This one is a little bit beat up. Wheels are kind of, you know, messy on this. But um, I really thought this was cool. This is uh, compared to a Hot Wheels. Much bigger, probably a 143rd scale, um, 150th scale, um, or 155 scale. Now, the scale bottom number goes down when the size goes up. So, 143rd, it could still be a 143rd. Um, anyway, this is a matchbox, and this is a uh, Speed Kings. Uh, the number one here is K2. It's a Cougar Dragster. And this is from the Lesney um, era. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's any way to fix these wheels. But if there is, someone could please let me know. Um, doors open. The engine doesn't need to open because it's exposed. Okay. But this was... Lesney Supervast. Why a dragster would bother to have a tow hook on the back? No idea. Hot Wheels Corvette, 80s Corvette, metal body, metal base with the Hot Wheels um, logos. Uh, this was, I think. I'm not sure if this was the Redliner series or if this was the series that came out that was exclusive to Target. Anyway, it's a Corvette C6R. Copyright date on the base is 2006, but it's metal body, metal base, and it's a plastic wing. This body style or this casting I always thought was kind of cool. Uh, this was actually not this paint scheme or anything, but this casting was used, was it like a 1997 or 98 first edition? 
And when the 30th anniversary convention was in Anaheim, California, I went to that convention. It was the uh, first and only convention I had gone to for Hot Wheels. And this was the car on the back of the convention t-shirts. Again, the casting, not the Yemen M paint schemes that came out of the... Uh, uh, they were doing stuff for NASCAR then, so that, I think at the time, this was, uh, oh, darn, who drove the M&M's car back then? It was, um, it'll come to me, but probably after the video, so, uh, another Corvette, this one was not in the collection that I showed the other day, uh, 65 convertible Corvette. Let me see here. It says Canine Crusher. I, want it. I think that's what it says. So I can see that, I don't know. I'll take a look at the video after the fact and I'll find out what that says. Uh, here is another El Camino. This is from my Chevy collection. This will be a 68 El Camino. And again, there were some variations with the engine in the back. Um, some of the engines were different. This one has an air uh, scoop at the top of the engine to take in air. Others just had, didn't have this. And it also has a closed bed in the back. Okay, so there's that one. Here is a, uh, I believe this was a serial mail-in. Um, this is not the only one that I had, but for 50 cents, I couldn't pass it up. Okay, so these are Model A Fords. Um, they're really good for, um, I'm sorry, I had my hand in one. Um, they're really good for, um, you know, advertising businesses and stuff like that. Uh, the back is plastic, the base is plastic, but everything else is, uh, is metal. Okay, and um, I do remember me on the way to that. And this was not a Mattel car or a Lesney car. It was owned by somebody else in between Lesney and Mattel. This is the Ford Torino. It's the 74 Torino. I kind of like, I'm not a Ford person, but I do kind of like this body style for the Torino. Because it, it's a car you don't see a lot of. There's the 80s Camaro, IROC Z, and uh, metal body, metal base. I'm not sure if that was a, one in my collection that I showed the other day. Here is the 12 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Um, when they first came back out with this body style, I liked it, but the newer ones, uh, I'm talking the ones in real life. Here's a cool one. This is the 08 Dodge Challenger SRT8. I like this body style. Car's a little bit more bloated than the original it represents, but it's still nice and it's good as a hot wheel. Here we have a Firebird. This is copyright 2011. Uh, I don't know what year Firebird it is. It might be a 70, 71, 72 in that area. Okay, I like that body style too. Okay. Here was one that came out in the last couple years, the uh, Nova Wagon. So this was uh, copyrighted 2012, came out in 2013. So, 
looks different in this kind of light. In, in different light, it looks darker. There's another 63 Corvette, green. Here's a C6 Corvette, plastic base. Just a variation I didn't have in the collection I showed. Here's a car that I do collect. Um, even though it's based on a Ford, it does not say Ford, but it is uh, definitely based on a Ford. Okay, uh, this is the Woody Wagon. Um, the copyright date actually on the on the base, 1979. Okay, so it's been around for 35, 40 years. Nearly 40 years, I guess. Not not all 40. Okay, but that's a variation. I do collect these. I got a separate jammer with those. Another 63 VET split window. Just a basic five spokes. Okay, clean, blue, no camp out. This one here is a Johnny Lightning. Um, I don't know about their base code dates. Um, opening, opening hood. Okay, these Corvettes, it's a clamshell hood, and they open towards the front. Okay, this one has plastic wheels, but it's metal body, metal base. Um, I'm not sure if this came out of a five pack or if this was, um... A series car again, Chevy Nomad based on a '55 Chevy Nomad. This one does have some nicks in it. Uh, I believe uh, Venice's son did play with some of these cars. So <clears throat> another '63 Corvette. Another one is clean, just black, regular five spoke '63 Corvette. Uh, I do like the Tampa on this. Here's a Zamac 72 Chevy. I'm sorry, not 70, custom 69 Chevy. Okay, but this is the uh, Walmart Zamac edition. the Chrysler group okay what is this it's a charger or challenger Daytona it's a Dodge Daytona so it's a charger but I don't remember the year okay metal wing Firebird funny car really good condition Compared to the other one, this is metal body, metal base, metal engine, okay, it's all metal in there. I don't want to open it up anymore because the, the body's getting cockeyed. Here is a, uh, a Matchbox Lesney Edition Dodge Challenger. Um, copyright date on this is 1975 from the Superfast era. Uh, it's still rolling okay. But halfway decent. It's been played with. Alright, but also I have cars that are in worse shape. Here is uh, another Hot Wheels. This is another Firebird. This is from the late 60s. This is probably a 68 or 69 Firebird. Um, with the Hot Wheels logo. This one is kind of cool because this is a um, Corvette Matchbox. Uh, this one came out in the 90s. So it's, again, it was owned by a company. It was in between Resini and Mattel. 
This here is a plastic body and a metal base. And I believe this should be based on um, the Monte Carlo Stalker. Okay. I don't, it says yellow jacket on the, yeah, it's got a great big yellow jacket bug on the side. Okay. It's a yellow jacket. Batmobile from the original 66 series. Um, this one just came out, I think, like last year or the year before. This has the ghost flames on it um, with the trademark um, TM symbol next to the bat on the door. So that just came out. There's a 55 Chevy, which I do collect, and this was a McDonald's Happy Meal car. Um, the base here is 1993, so uh, even though that you find these in other variations with the earlier base code, like this one, this has a 1975, and the variation with these cars was either a cast closed hood or an exposed engine, but it appears the McDonald's cars, um, they have different wheels. Uh, darker windows because I don't think they have interiors. Um, I don't know if these came with stickers or not because this is pretty plain. But in any case, it's in really good condition. So, um, and while I pulled this one out, add this to my 57 Chevy. Add both to my 57 Chevy. Collection. Here is a Mickey Mouse car. I don't know if this was a Disney World exclusive. Uh, you can only get these in Disney World. But it's the Ford Mustang um, convertible. And um, it's got some Disney characters on it. So it's got Donald Duck one side and Mickey on the other. And a convertible 70 Chevelle SS. Can't have too many of those. Here is a Matchbox Corvette. Corvette Stingray. I don't know what gen this is. Probably a C5. C6. Okay. These cars are fun to collect. This is a matchbox as well. Um, this is probably a Ford, like a Ford uh, Taurus. I don't know if anybody can see that or not. Let's see if that helps. should be like a Ford Taurus police car. So I thought this was kind of cool. Um, it's got a little scrape paint, but you know, if you've ever seen cop cars, they get abused, kind of. And here is another non-matchbox, non-hot wheel, not even Johnny Lightning. This is actually a racing champions uh, with a picture of Velma from Scooby-Doo. And this is a 67 Chevelle SS, I think. But there's no uh, fake hood scoops on either side of the hood. Let's see if it says SS in the grill. Either that or it's a bow tie symbol. And if there's no SS, then it's just a Malibu. But I thought this was cool. I kind of like the wheels. And actually, I think these wheels are just like the, uh, the van I, I talked about um, last video about my collection. Oh, anyway, um, sorry to make it so long. Um, but that's it. Uh, other than a couple finds I had today, uh, 
I went to Walmart. And they were kind of blown out of cars. But I did find this. So I found the Monster Jam Stars and Stripes uh, from Mohawk Warrior. That was the only one they had. I'm wondering if a collector came in and got these. Because this one here was filmed it earlier. And I thought the plastic, yeah, right here, the plastic's cracked. So I don't know if a collector was in there before or I just got lucky. And that's why a collector's, you know. I mean, I don't want to the wreck package. Um, I don't care, but I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to take those out or not. Take them out of the package. Uh, sometimes the glue comes right off and the whole blister falls off. And then again, this one. Um, this has a new model in it. Uh, this is a new truck for 2018 Overkill Evolution. And this one is Alien Invasion. Uh, I don't think I have Alien Invasion, and obviously if that's a new truck, I don't have that. But it's a 2018. Okay. They did have the two-pack for Zombie and Zombie Hunter. I don't know if there's any uh, variations of the Zombie, because that one's a cool one. Um, and then let's take a look at the back of the uh, Mohawk Warrior for Stars and Stripes. If you want to read this, yeah, I'm sure I'll find them, so not too worried. Anyway, um, I hope you liked the video. Please like, please comment, thumbs up, thumbs down things you might want to see, please let me know, and I hope you all have a good weekend. Take care. Bye.